Forgiveness is one of the ultimate tests of true Christian character. The ability for you and I to forgive someone who has hurt us deeply can be a very, very difficult thing to do. And yet we see Jesus modeling this for us to the extreme as he is hanging on the cross and he utters the words, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Once again, I want you to imagine with me that it is 9 a.m. on the morning that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was crucified. And at this point, we've seen him whipped. We've seen him beaten with rods. We've seen people slap him on the face. We've seen him have his clothes stripped from him so that he is humiliated. And then he experienced something called scourging, which is when they put little sharp pieces of stone and metal at the end of a whip. And what they do is they whip you and then they pull that off your back so that it leaves lacerations, sometimes to the point where it goes down to the very bone. Then we have some people that put a crown of thorns on his head and they twist that crown into his head so that the blood came streaming down and they begin to mock him. Hey, 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 that's the king of the Jews. That's the king of the Jews. And then Jesus being so tired from his journey, he wasn't even able to carry his own cross up to Golgotha on the hill called Calvary. So they actually had to get someone named Simon of Cyrene to help him carry his own cross. And yet, after experiencing all of this pain and all of this agony, we see Jesus saying, Father, forgive them because they don't even realize what they are doing. It makes me wonder who Jesus was referring to when he said the words, them. Could it be that he was referring to the people who just put him on the cross? Could it be that he was referring to his disciples, all of whom said, hey, Jesus, we're going to roll with you. We'll go to the cross with you. We'll die with you. And yet when it came time to stand for Jesus, all of them forsook him and fled. Could it be that he was thinking about Peter who said, oh, you can count on me. You can count on the rock. I will never deny you. And yet we see Peter denied him. Could it be that he was thinking about Judas who had betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver? Or could it be that Jesus had you and I on his mind because the reality is that our sin was responsible for putting Jesus on the cross? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. See, the blessing in that statement is that Jesus is willing to forgive us even when we don't even realize how deeply we are offending him. So what does this mean for us today? There's more than likely someone in your life right now that you need to forgive. Maybe it's a friend who has hurt you deeply. Maybe it's a spouse that did you wrong. Maybe it's a pastor. Maybe it's a coworker. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's uh, someone that you used to date that mistreated you or offended you or hurt you deeply. Maybe it's a parent. Maybe it's a child. Whoever it is, the challenge is, are we able to model what Jesus did and say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Here's a few things that I want to encourage you to consider as we talk about this concept of forgiveness. First and foremost, forgiveness does not mean reconciliation. Sometimes we get the two confused. And we think that, oh, you know what? In order for me to forgive this person, it means I have to be in connection with them. I have to be in communion with them. We have to have our relationship restored. While that might be the goal sometimes, and that might be what God's perfect will is, sometimes reconciliation is just not possible, specifically in situations where somebody may have hurt you and they may have passed on. So don't get reconciliation confused with forgiveness. But the second lesson that I want to encourage you to consider is that forgiveness does not mean the absence of pain. It means the absence of bitterness. Anybody who tells you that forgiveness means you're not going to feel the pain and the hurt of what someone did to you in your past is not telling you the truth. Because the reality is that the things that people have done to us are going to hurt. There is going to be pain. There is going to be suffering. And sometimes those hurts and pains are going to be with us for the rest of our lives. But the difference with us as Christians is that when we forgive, we're saying, you know what? Yes, what you did to me still hurts. 
but I am no longer going to be bitter towards you. I'm no longer going to hope that something negative happens to you. I'm no longer going to allow myself to be happy whenever I hear something negative may have happened in your life. The bitterness is gone, even though the pain remains. But the third lesson that I want to talk to you about with, as it relates to forgiveness is that really at the end of the day, forgiveness is an act of faith because you and I have to trust that the God who saw us being mistreated and offended can do a better job at dealing with someone who has hurt us than we could ever do. We are relinquishing control. We are relinquishing revenge. And we're saying, God, you know what? I'm going to put this situation in your hands and I'm going to trust you to handle the person who has hurt me deeply. And this requires faith. So the final question I want you to consider today is this. Is there anything that someone has done to you that was greater and more painful than what the people did to Jesus when they nailed him to the cross and humiliated him and beat him and scourged him and whipped him and stripped him of his clothes? Is there anything that anyone has ever done to you that was worse than that? If Jesus can find it in his heart to say, Father, forgive them because they don't realize what they're doing right now, how much more should you and I be able to exercise that same level of forgiveness, specifically because when we go to the Father for forgiveness, we are quick to want God to forgive us for our sins. So therefore, my friend, we are under divine obligation to extend that same level of forgiveness to other people who have hurt us.